Good morning, Crossing Church. I just wanted to share with you one scripture, one verse that motivates me to pursue the secret place with Jesus. And that is uh, Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Um, saying the Lord is my shepherd reveals who he is to me or to us. And a shepherd is a leader, a provider, a protector, a comforter to the flock. And the result of him being the shepherd is that I shall not want or we shall not want. We have everything that we need. Um, this does not mean that we will always have an abundance of all the earthly things that we perceive as wants. Um, but he is sufficient. He is all the answer and the provision that we need. His mercies are thankfully new every morning. And this also does not mean that we can't or shouldn't be praying for breakthroughs or asking God for anything. In fact, the Bible says we should be doing those things. But we must never let the unanswered prayer, according to our possible expectations, or even the answered prayers, take the place of the shepherd. Um, he is sufficient. He has everything that we need. He is all the answer, all the provision that we need. The next verses that follow on after it reveal where he takes us, places like still waters and green pastures, even valleys, and it tells us how he takes us, um, protected, secure, anointed. Um, and this just shows that when we position God in his rightful place in our lives, we will find us, find ourselves under his wing. Um, and that is the place where we are going to find um, sufficiency in him and be completely satisfied by him. From this place, we can surrender our lives completely to him. We can cast all our cares upon him. We can uh, trust him with our hopes, our dreams, even our disappointments. And we can live a bold, courageous, faithful life for his name's sake. And it's in the secret place that we find who he is. And as a result of that, we find who we are in him. So let's go there as often as we can. Uh, have an amazing day. God bless.